On this episode of My First Quilt, we're cutting apart a panel and adding a frame to it to create a cute wall hanging. Hi there, you're watching My First Quilt Show and I'm Sarah Gallegos. A lot of times I see people working with panels and just cutting apart the panel, adding a simple border or a sashing to it and calling it a quilt. And that's one quick easy way to get it done. But this is a really cute quilt that adds a couple of interesting borders and two different blocks to give you a really dynamic effect. So in this quilt, Java Blend, we have two amazing blocks. First, you've got this right here that's kind of framed out in a darker border. And then our second block here that's framed out in a lighter border. This allows us to use several different pieces of the panel or you could use one panel piece and then maybe a coordinate or a coordinating fabric that goes with that panel for the second set of blocks. There's a lot of fun to have here and you can really play with your panel fabrics. I've got the first block all framed out here. It's kind of stepped out for you to see. I used a coffee themed fabric for the center and this is not actually a panel. This is just coordinating yardage that went with the panel. So you start with that in the center and then you've got borders to add top and bottom and then the sides. And then we've got a little pieced border that creates a bit of a frame. It's really cute. So here is the top and the bottom and your sides. And the way that that comes together is you've got a solid rectangle and you're just adding two contrasting fabrics. And one of those fabrics is the same as what's in the center. So it kind of drags it out or brings it out to the corners. After you've sewn those on, again, top and bottom, side to side, then you do another of your red frame. I love this little coffee bean fabric. It goes on top and bottom and side to side. And what you end up with is this cute little framed in block. Now on this one, I used a black background of that same coffee print fabric. So I kind of mixed it up a little bit on the quilts, but you can see that we've got our nice pieced border on the inside and it's surrounded by the red coffee bean border. And here we have the second block coming together of our Java Blend quilt. And this is really cute because again, you're using one of your panels cut apart and this fabric had all kinds of cute coffee. You could do this one, Here's another fun little one with the coffee pot. And you can see that it really changes the look when you add in a different center point. Now this has two main border units to it. The first is the side, and you're going to take one of your larger rectangles and attach it to the two smaller rectangles. This becomes your side border. You're gonna do the same thing over here. Now for top and bottom, it's that same unit again, but we're adding in a corner square. And that's going to create a square. So you've got one for top, one for bottom, and then block two is complete. Now when I was putting this together, I had a lot of fun fussy cutting all these little blocks. So these borders around my coffee pots were exactly the perfect size. I could kind of square it up, trim it up. It is sometimes kind of hard when you're fussy cutting to make things perfectly straight. So we've got to just relax about it a little bit because sometimes those stripes or borders in your fabric are not printed completely straight. You can try and maneuver it all you want, but you may not get it quite completely straight. But in a quilt like this, you'll never notice. It looks adorable once it's all pieced together. So have fun, fussy cut those fabrics and come up with some cute blocks. So here is what our completed block two looks like. And I love how on this particular block with the lighter color on the outside border next to the darker color on the outside border in block one, you get the effect of your blocks kind of floating a little bit. So here's block two. And then here is an example of block one. Now, once you've got all of your blocks complete, you're basically putting the quilt together like a giant nine patch. You've got five of block one, four of block two, add a couple borders to it, and you have turned a simple panel into a beautiful quilt. I hope you've enjoyed this lesson. Come back and see me again on My First Quilt. My First Quilt is brought to you by Baby Lock, Free Spirit Fabrics, Madeira, and Hobbs Batting.